We'll go. I'm ready. Come on, Roddy. You're usually the guy. Okay. Uh, I, quite frankly, I believe that I, I believe that if we'd have played any one of those guys or started any one of those guys, everybody would have had a great comfort level. Quite frankly, I think I think if we'd have just kept on rolling them, one guy the first series, one guy the next series, one guy the next series, I think they'd have been fine with that too. They, I don't even know if they look back to see who's there, you know, all throughout camp because all three of them got so many reps with the first unit. But um, I think our, our team knows that all three of those guys are very capable, and we're, we're thankful for that. So what's the advantage of going ahead and naming a guy? Well, I can't start three at the same time. So uh, part of it is all this. You know, if I waited till the day before the game or if we told somebody and then it got out on Thursday, and then it's a big zoo for two days. I want to. I want the zoo to be over today. That's why we did it yesterday, and uh, hopefully by the end of the day, it'll be old news, and we'll just go about our business. You said uh, last week after scrimmage, you hadn't found peace in, your, in yourself and your decision. Yeah. You have peace now. Well, I do, but I I will say that uh, it was a very difficult decision. Um, did one man separate himself? By a great distance over the over two, uh, over the other two, no. That didn't make it bad. It just meant to me all three of them performed well. And and uh, I mentioned earlier, Coach Schottenheimer and, and I uh, spent some time this weekend watching every single snap by each quarterback in every scrimmage and trying to find some, you know, answers there. And when it was done, we just said, you know what, we got three pretty good players. And so it wasn't like we got done with the tape and said, bam, Eureka, this is it. Uh, but, um, but we felt like we've, we really have some guys that are good players, and it's going to be a tough call. And it was a tough call. But I'm, but I'm excited about moving forward and start playing and just seeing how we perform. Yeah. If there's if there's a if there's some if there is uh, somebody coming in early in the game, first half, it would be by design. It wouldn't be so. It's, it wouldn't be an indication of somebody getting yanked. I, I've never been a quick. I've never been quick to yank a quarterback out of a game. Uh, I've always been a patient guy. Some people think I'm too patient, but um, you know I, I've played the position. I've coached the position long enough to know that. No one's perfect. Grayson's not going to be perfect. Uh, whoever else might get a chance to play in there won't be perfect either. It's just the nature of the beast. And you also have the, uh, the factor of the opponent. You know, these guys are good at rushing the passers. I think they were, uh, what, were they? I think they were 13th in America in, in the number of sacks that they had last year. They're 10th in the country in tackles for loss. I mean, They've got nine returning starters on defense. They've got 10 of their defenders that are either juniors or seniors. I mean, these guys are not going to be intimidated. I, I think we'll have more butterflies than they do as far as guys that are doing it for the first time. They've got a bunch of veterans, six starters on offense and, and nine on defense. Um, and they've, they've, been, they've been road warriors. Those guys have been to every, just about every SEC venue uh, over the last few years. They've beaten a, a Power Five conference team uh, every single year for the last three years. They're going to be used to it. Malcolm called the receivers high maintenance. What's your reaction to that? Oh, I don't know what he means by that, but um, um, the bottom line is we expect all of our guys to take care of business a certain way. And when they don't, we, we try to straighten them out. I think all three quarterbacks had moments where we knew they could be the starter. And that's what made it so tough. Coach, you guys have started in a top 10 prime time showdown. Will you learn just as much about your team in this game, a new, a new start as you would in a game like that? 
Uh, we're going to learn a lot, no doubt. There's going to be a lot of guys doing it for the first time, whether they're uh, true freshmen or, or transfers or um, even guys that maybe didn't get a chance to start any time in their career to this point, but maybe will get a chance to start or play for the first time or at least play substantial downs. Um, we're going to learn a lot about a lot of these guys. And that's why I was saying that you know, we probably have more guys that are doing it for the first time than they do. They got some veteran players that'll be used to this type of thing. Got time for one more. What was the reaction of Tom Bowden Bryce Ramsey when you pulled him aside and said, hey, yeah. let Grayson start? Well, I mean, no one's excited to hear that you're not the starter when you're fighting to win the job. But I, I think they uh, took it like pros. And uh, I think that they're going to be preparing for their moment. And that, that's, what, that's what you do when you're in that position. And just uh, very honorable the way they've uh, Move forward since hearing the news. Okay. Yeah.